Welcome back to Switzerland on Australia's business channel. The recent rally has buoyed investor confidence, but Roger Montgomery warns there are four reasons why we should be nervous right now. Roger is Chief Investment Officer at Montgomery Investment Management, and he joins me in the studio. Roger, how are you? I'm very, very relaxed. Now, I want to talk about McMillan Shakespeare before we finish. Sure. Let's get the main job today. Four reasons to be nervous. Okay, so reason number one, yep. very simply, um, is that we're not seeing a lot of value amongst the quality issues that we typically go fishing for. Mm -hmm. um, in the last three years in a row, when that's happened, where we've had very few new companies, companies we don't already own, yeah. that are high quality, A1, A2, B1, B2. Share price too high compared to the value that correct. you... Yeah, right. So when we can't find many that meet our criteria, yeah. in the last three years that, it's, that has precipitated a decline in the market. Now, I'm not saying that it will decline mm. because I don't, I don't know, no. quite frankly. I can't predict these things. Um, and our track record is mixed at best at, when we talk about forecasting. Yeah. Um, but, but that's an observation. Okay, number Not one. Not a lot of value. Number one. Number two, China. Mm -hmm. Here's the interesting thing. Quart in second quarter, Chinese uh, fixed asset investment mm -hmm. as a percentage of GDP Went from eighty percent. Uh, went to eighty percent. It doubled from the previous quarter. Yep. Now two years ago it was sixty percent. Mm. When the rate was much higher, the rate of growth was much higher. The rate of growth was eleven percent or twelve percent. Mm. It's now seven and a half. Mm. It was sixty percent fixed asset investment, mm. which is funded by local government debt. Mm. So it was sixty percent of twelve. It's now eighty percent of seven and a half. Mm. The rest of the economy, outside of government spending, has fallen off a cliff. Mm -hmm. Now, they're trying to transition. But the, 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 our exports are more linked to the fixed asset investment, aren't they? Uh, yes, oh. but it's, it's a higher percentage of it. It's, there's no growth, yeah. right? And the yeah. problem that you've got, the problem you've got is they're using it to buy, buy assets or build assets that are generating no return or a negative return. Mm -hmm. So that's simply not sustainable. Right. Um, and what we're going to see, I think, is a, a further slowdown and further a, a deeper recession in our mining and so mining So when you services. heard China say, we're not going to go below 7%, is it right? No, they didn't say that. The, the, the guy didn't say that, the Premier. Yeah. This is a little bit like the Premier of New South Wales saying Australian economic growth will not go below X. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. It was just his opinion about what he thought was acceptable. Yeah. He's not saying that... They're, they're I just thought opinions premier. in China were actually determinable. Yeah. You actually could work out what the opinion would be. But people have got to understand, people hear one Premier say something and they think, oh, that's it. Yeah. It's, it's the same as the I Premier do think of the premier Victoria. China is just a little bit more significant than, than There's Barrio a lot of Farrell. premiers. There's a lot of premiers, Peter. Okay. Um, okay, so so that's going to lead to, I think, further difficulties for Australian resources. Okay. Now, outside that's of... That's two. That's two. Three. Outside of resources yep. in Australia, the Australian economy is not going well. We just saw Seek's online job advertisements, mm. and we saw them declining significantly. And in WA, mm. down 40%. Mm. 40% for the mm -hmm. year, okay, compared to June last Sounds year. Sounds huge. That's, that's a big drop in mm -hmm. online ads. So these people that are coming off the job at, in mining and mining services, mm -hmm. looking for work elsewhere, there isn't any. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to see is we're going to see rising unemployment in Australia, and I think that's going to lead other people who don't necessarily have a job in mining or mining services yeah. to pull their head Sounds in. Sounds like a very strong less. argument for a rate cut next okay. uh, Tuesday, but go on. That's your job, not my job. Yep. Um, and then uh, number, th number four, mm. the United States, the uh, earnings growth. So stocks have gone very, very strongly because mm. of the earnings growth profile in the United States. Yep. 107 companies have now reported in the United mm. States. Out of those 107, if you take out financial companies, mm. banks and the like, yep. earnings growth is down 4% on the quarter, that's mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Revenue growth, zero. Mm -hmm. So put those four things together, we think one, US stock prices in aggregate mm -hmm. are unjustifiably right. high. We think Australian share prices are unjustifiably, unjustifiably high based on the economic growth prospects of the country. We think that China is going to slow down dramatically mm -hmm. uh, and we think that uh, there's no value in the market. Uh, the, the, the one thing I've got to say that we've, we've talked for a long time mm. Once upon a time, you never used to pin 
the, the, the selection of companies on macro issue. Because you often say, no. who cares? You used to say, who cares? I look at the companies. And I, I would say to you, well, we do. but if the macro economy is crap, that company's going to suffer. But in, say, ah, no, I can, I can. in your introduction, yeah. we haven't changed the way we invest. Yeah. But the introduction, you know, the, the, what we're talking about is reasons why investors should be cautious. Mm. So we're cautious. We can't find any value. We're 55% like cash. I like that indicator. That's one that really We're 55% me. cash mm. in the Montgomery private fund. And we're scratching our heads saying, well, should we be buying anything? Mm. We can't find anything. Okay. And there's all these things to worry about. There are some technical issues I think make me I think that you could be right. But I guess for people listening now, mm. is it, are you saying then that you want to be out of the market for a long time or you want to be out until the correction well, comes? Well, here's the interesting thing. This will lead us into the next part of the story. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was asked yesterday uh, by a prospective investor, they said, well, you know, should I invest with you now or should I wait? And the, question, the answer was, well, well I don't know mm. because your question is about timing mm. and I don't know whether now is a good time or not. I now, just talked this to them morning, So yesterday we couldn't find any value and mm. yet today, this morning on the open, Macmillan Shakespeare mm. opens at $7. Mm. And we bought a whole lot of stock at $7. Mm. It closed at $9. We made a couple of million dollars today. But, mm. you know, we couldn't have anticipated that yesterday. Mm. Yeah, but get, it's still guesswork, isn't it, for, for you? Because you don't know what's going to happen to no. this industry. But So what you, we can do is we gamble, can say... It's not a gamble, you know, no. but you're investing. We can say there's a 60% chance of X happening. Mm. And if X happens, the share price is worth this. Yeah. There's a 40% chance of this happening. And if that happens, the share price is worth this. Add the two probability weighted prices together, we get a, a probability weighted intrinsic value. Mm. And on that basis, which was about $14 for the shares, mm. uh, they were trading at seven. Uh, they were nearly 50% discount to what we thought they yeah. were worth. And, and do you sometimes have this sort of innate belief that there's always a market overreaction and that does create an opportunity I don't know in the when short it's term. going to happen, but it's yeah. guaranteed to happen. Yeah. There, will, there will be overreactions. That's yeah. the one thing we can predict yeah. with some confidence. Yeah. There will be overreactions and it's our job to take advantage of well, those. Well, basically the, the theme I've been adopting with, with our viewers is if you buy quality companies, when there's no reaction, the market sold off. Like, for example, BHP, which you thought would go into the 20s. And it still could if your analysis is right. Correct. I think you're wrong, but it doesn't mean I'm okay. right That's what right makes either. the market. That's right, precisely. When I'm selling shares, someone's buying them. Exactly when I'm right. buying shares, someone's selling them. We disagree. That's right. Every but day. But certain I do like, as a, as a strategy, buying quality companies. Mm. You like to add other things on that to test out the quality of the company. Correct. Agree with that. All right, so that, that's the issue. That's so, Macmillan Shakespeare. so Macmillan Shakespeare is an interesting one. But is it still a buy at $9? Because some people are wondering that. Roger, is it still a buy at 9 Well, we think it's worth... We think it's worth about 14 based on the probabilities of one, mm. Labor not winning, yeah. or two, if they do win, the probability of them getting the legislation through. Mm. Okay, so we looked at all the probabilities through scenario analysis. And we actually published our scenario analysis this morning for Macmillan Shakespeare on my blog. Mm. So we put it up there so people can go to the blog and they can see our scenario mm. analysis and decide for themselves what they think the probabilities should be. Mm. Um, but based on our probability assessment, we thought the valuation was about $14, so at $7 at cheap, it's cheap. At $9, it's still cheap. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen to yeah, the share price uh, in the interim. Th yeah, That'll be our, I, said, I said in the investment yeah. committee meeting this, uh, today, mm. I said the Macmillan Shakespeare share price will be our electoral election worm. Mm. So we won't be watching the worm on TV, we'll be watching the share <laughs> that's price. That's right, that's right. Mm. All right. We're out of time. Roger, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure, program. Peter. Always Thank great you. to talk to you. Okay, that's Roger Montgomery. We'll uh, be back after break and we'll try and educate you about commercial real estate mortgages with Steve Tunley, CEO of Balmain Funds.